So, hi guys. Uh, welcome back to this index and match uh, formula. This is the second part. And in this video, I'm going to show you other ways to use the index and match. And then I'm also uh, going to introduce you with some product. And in here, I have a sample report with this uh, data. And I'm going to find the value of the interest income in here. I pick interest income for change, but you can have revenue, gross income, or net income. And then I wanted this with this format, Apple forecasting budget side by side. And in here, it's a changing cell for the period. If you want to have 2020, that would be possible. So if you're new with the index and match formula, I recommend you to watch my first video for that uh, particular combination of the formula. Because right now, I'm going to be starting with the index and match for this. So here, I'm writing the formula of the index. And then, of course, an array is the figures, right? Here, the possible answers. And a comma. And now, it requires a row number. I'm going to use a match formula here. The lookup value in rest income. And then, comma. The array is here. Lookup array. And then, comma. Exact match. And then, another match formula for the column number. But this time, the lookup value is uh, 2 multiple, right? Because uh, the first one is if it is actual forecast or the budget. Uh, and I'm using a connector here, an end connector, to have the period. So it's two local value. And then comma, and then the lookup array. The lookup array will be in here for the actual budget and uh, forecast. And another connector and the period. So try it. Let's just try it if it's correct. No, not yet. We're going to have the exact match, which is zero. And uh, close parenthesis, and then another close parenthesis for the whole formula, and press enter. And that is incorrect. Why? Because uh, in your source data, uh, the actual forecast and budget are merged. So we're going to tweak a little bit this report, just a little bit because we wanted to have each uh, row column here to have a figure if it's an actual forecast or budget um, to correspond with a period, right? So that the formula can read that. So here, I'm just fixing, just copying the actual forecast and budget. Um, then here, in the budget. Okay, let's try it with a new column. I'm uh, investing a bit of, again, the formula, and then move this merge cell. Then we're not going to use that. Uh, instead, we're going to use this uh, new row here, and then press enter. Of course, that's incorrect. Why? Because the real problem is in here. The array, lookup array of the second match of function here cannot handle a multiple row or column for your match formula. The match formula can only handle a one-way stroke, a one-way row or one-way column, right? So that's important. To fix that, instead of uh, using the enter, pressing the enter in this formula, we're gonna force the match function to handle an array. This is an array problem, two array. I mean two rows, and that is equivalent to an array. And instead of an enter, we're gonna use a control shift enter here. Control shift enter all at once and it returns a number. And what number is that? 2020 figure Apple for the interest income. That's uh, this one, right? To change it like uh, 2016, uh, this one. So it's correct, right? So just fix the formula, lock it for the copy and paste uh, options for the forecast budget and uh, Forecasting budget is uh, only this row. Uh, you want to move the column of this uh, cell, so just one lock here, and then the others are all uh, anchored accordingly. So use the control shift enter, don't forget that. And copy and paste it. Let's check it. It is correct for 2016 forecast. It's in here, it's correct now. So that's the first way of solving this problem, this array problem, the index and match with uh, 
control plus shift plus enter all at once and then there's own there's there's also another way to solve that using again the index match and I call it call it uh, index match match index in here we're gonna replace the array of the match formula here with the index so let's just try it the first two steps are the same we have the array here and then uh, the row number will be the match formula look of value is the interest income and then look up array is is in here and then exact match then uh, another match formula comma another match formula uh which is here and in the period the same as before right but here comma in this uh second uh, requirement which is the lookup array for your second match function we're gonna use the index to provide an array for the match so that you don't need to have <clears throat> a control shift enter at the end so we're gonna use the index here and then uh open parenthesis and then the array will be here right here and the period also using a connector but eliminate the control shift uh, enter at the end then comma but this time because uh, you use the index formula formula you're gonna complete that with a row number basically you want your formula to count uh, any first row row or column that the index array uh, have so any first so you can enter one in here or zero or just leave it blank that's correct and then column number is optional just put a, a close parenthesis on that and then comma comma to complete the second match uh, function in here and we're looking for the exact match right so exact match and then we'll close parenthesis and then that's it it returns the same value without uh, pressing the control shift enter because in here, when you use a control shift enter, as you can see, there's a curly bracket on that. That means uh, uh, the formula used the control shift enter. And some of the users are not familiar with that. And when, the, when they investigate the formula and then just press the enter, the formula gone wrong. So uh, let's just avoid that and use this formula instead index match and match index i'm gonna lock it for the pop and paste same as the lock format as the index and match so here and and this one and then press enter just enter then copy and paste it that's correct now right change the cell it changes accordingly and that's it for the other ways to use the index match and there is another formula that can also handle that particular problem and returns the same value and that is the sum product so i'm introducing you now the sum product so let's try it i'm writing the formula again and it requires an array and the array is the same as the index and match formula and then comma so now the second requirement is uh, the criteria. The next requirements are the criteria, the interest income, if it's actual forecast or budget, and then the period. And here, we're gonna use an open parenthesis for that. Don't forget that and using some product. And then uh, look for the array for the interest income. We're uh, working on the interest income here. And then press uh, equal sign. In here, you're telling, uh, you're telling the sum product to find in this list the interest income so it's in here right and this is the value and uh, close parenthesis and then put an asterisk a sum uh, a product right it's, this is a sum product but this asterisk is uh, making the formula uh, combine other criteria so uh, open parentheses and then find the next criteria if it's apple forecast or budget so it's in here right the array is in here equal is actual and then close parentheses asterisk again for the third requirement which is the period open parentheses and a period 
equal close sign it's 2020 right and then close parenthesis another close parenthesis and enter that returns the same value right that's uh one of the features one of the functionality of the some product here and then lock it uh the same as the two example here so uh here the apple should not uh, should be moved and this one. press enter copy and paste it and that's it that's uh three ways to solve this problem and uh, you can change that based on the requirement and it's in here let's check it yeah that's correct that's correct and the budget is also correct so that's it for the day if you want to remove this again just uh, highlight all of this go to format cell and then custom and then uh, in the type box just put a uh, three semicolon and press enter it will be removed you can hide it as well to make the report uh, the same as the original and you have the report here um, side by side apple for this and budget and uh, you now know how to handle an array problem with the index and match two ways and a sum product so if you're interested with the sum product i'm going to be making a video for that explaining the the formula itself and other examples because that's just one of the functionalities as i mentioned of the sum product so that's it i'm finished here if you're liking my video uh, you can subscribe in my channel and see you next time and thanks